All right, welcome back. Uh, let's go down to the full detail of the information without wasting much of your time. Uh, the indigenous people of Biafra alleges secret detention centers where Braf Biafrans are detained in Nigeria. Oh, say Tela. Um, the banyi sunoku ikuku kwe afi koko, and there is nothing hidden under the sun. The IPOB members have open the nash of the NIG them boys uh, where they, they secretly detain members of the IPOB and some of these people who are detained uh, they were not even with arm it's just that maybe they found IPOB in signal with you and upon that uh, you will be detained and some of themselves uh, their family are looking for them meanwhile let's go down to the full detail of the information as it be the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has said it has uncovered secret detention centers where Nigerian security forces have allegedly been detained and holding incommunicado some Biafra activities. The group explained that it wishes to alert the public about the secret detention facilities due to the horrible human rights abuses. Organ racketeering and forceful disappearance happening at the detention centers. Some of the secret detention centers, as alleged by IPOB in a statement by its media and public secretary, Emma Powerful, includes Wawa Military Base, Kanjidan Detention Center, Niger State Barrack and Prison, DSS Headquarters, Abuja, Intelligence Response Team, IRT, Abatua, Abuja Tiger Base Police Detention, Owere Imo State, Good luck, Jonathan's Army Barracks, Ohofia, Abia State, Zone 9, Omwahia, Abia State Detention Center, Zone 13, Opo, Anambra State, and Onicha Army Barracks, Anambra State. Others are Navy Base, Ogbaru, Anambra State, SAS, Akuzo, Opo, Anambra State, 82 Division, Enugu Military Barracks. Enugu State, Obinze, Ame Barracks, Owere, Imo State, Central, Owere, Imo State, Central Police Station Headquarters, Omwahia, Abia State, CID, Headquarters, Oka, Anambra State, Nava Base, Asaba, Delta State, Enugu Maximum Prison, Enugu State, Patakot Maximum Prison, River State, Aba Prison, Abia State, Abakliki Prisons, Ebony State, Uyo prisons are Kwaibom. Uwere prisons, Imo State. Kuje prisons, Abuja. Kefi prisons, Suleja. Niger State and Nigeria Military Intelligence Detention Facility, Abuja. It urged people who relatives are missing to look for them at these secret detention centers. IPOB said Ndibo are the highest ethnic group that are being detained with accusation of being either members of the IPOB or ESN or framed as kidnappers by notorious Nigerian police, DSS, and army. Ndibo have been profiled because of their ethnicity by the Nigerian government and hunted and detained across all the illegal detention centers in Nigeria. Not only the innocent Igbos are detained in these illegal detention facilities, but also, innocent people from other ethnic groups are locked up in these gulags. Detention facilities in Nigeria are places to search for your missing relative if he or she hasn't been tortured to death or butchered or for organ black market by the notorious energy security agencies. Until today, some of the IPOB members that Nigerian army and police abducted during President Donald Trump's inauguration rally in 2016 at Port Harcourt, Iguacha, River State are still missing. IPOB is still searching for those men and women who were abducted during the peaceful rally more than eight years on. <laughs> yeah, my people, I don't see as it happened for that particular matter uh, where the IPOB members don't they complain of the matters where we say it they happen for this Obodo. It don't shell it. Uh, because if you don't tell a person, make it a person, make it another person. Now you be say, another person no go hear them. And now I, me, myself, I day here for you. Uh, if you be Igbo, Alsa, Yoruba, or anywhere where you say you they come from. I say make you welcome because this one, uh, it concerns everybody. Oh, 
and uh, IPOB members, and then they talk this one, and it's coming from their media and public secretary for the man. What do they call him? A powerful uh, where we say now, in they speak for the IPOB spokesperson, that person where they talk for person, and now uh, this person now in they talk for IPOB for a long time now. And in don't they explain, say, hmm, say if you they look for your relatives, or they never come back since the time where we say they arrest them, or you be say, now you be say, uh, these people where we say they call energy them boys, uh, don't carry them poops. And the one where we say it touch light me, <laughs> my people. Now this issue of organ harvesting, you know, I don't know how true this is. Uh, I'm passing message where we say I see, uh, but if this organ harvesting is truly true, and I believe that um the Nigerian police, army, civil defense, uh, or whatever they call themselves, should be able to give account account of people that they have arrested, because this is what is called accountability. People cannot be arrested and all of a sudden, uh, their family members will be looking for them. People will be looking for them and people will not find them. My people, it is very unfair. It is very, very unfair. But as it is for Kaduna right now, uh, they say bandit don't abduct 22 in fresh Kaduna attack. <laughs> uh, this one, they happen for Kaduna life. Uh, they say they don't abduct about 22 fresh people for Kaduna. Uh, when I don't see, say, this matter don't become the order of the day. Um, I told you people the other time, say, uh, kidnapping has become a, a lucrative business in Nigeria now. There is a story of this young man uh, who was traveling from Anambra to Bauchi to go and do his business, to purchase his business uh, 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 pro products. Along the way, going to Bauchi, he was kidnapped. And these, these people are demanding whooping sum of 50 million. And you see a young man, I would have posted that video for you, but of course you people know how our community guideline here on YouTube is. I say shout out to YouTube team. Uh, when I walk, they go see where uh, because as soon as I try to uh, make everybody today comfortable in this uh, in this community, I say shout out to now. But as it is, I've drop that video here. But meanwhile, let's go down to what is happening in Kaduna. In separate attack, 19 persons have been adopted by bandits in Mani community near a factory in Radio World of Chikun local government area of Kaduna State and at Danghao. Two Millennium City in Kaduna at Mani, the hoodlums abducted a woman and have three children on Thursday morning. According to a source from the area, six of his relatives were among those taken to the forest. He said 19 persons were abducted from three houses in Mani village opposite Indomie Company, Rido Ward of Chikum local government area, Kaduna State, in the early hours of today, Thursday. I know the names of my relatives involved. We are in deep thought as I send this message, especially as we have yet to hear from the abductors. They include a nursing mother with four kids, young person and an infant. He urged the authorities to come to the victim's rescue. In a similar development, two months after the abduction of Kaduna-based journalists and their family members in Dankunu 2, New Millennium City of Chikun local government area of Kaduna State, Bandits on Wednesday night attacked the community and abducted their mother and her three sons. A source said the bandits attacked the house of Mr. Maitu Adeleke and abducted his wife and their three sons, leaving him behind. The incident occurred around 10 p.m. as the gunmen stormed the community, shooting sporadically on challenge before making way with the victims. It was also gathered that Ms. Adeleke who could not keep up with the pace of the bandits' movement was abandoned in the bush and had since returned home, but they left with her three sons, said the source. <laughs> uh, my people, when I don't see how they happen, this one they happen for Kaduna State. I can't even see how to team, how to tag in, how to turn on. I can't even see how to turn on, 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 the government parastatals, the ones, the people, Nimvu, where they lead this nation, have decided to keep mute. 
about the issue of insecurity that is ravaging this nation. And they felt that maybe because they are in a secluded area, uh, the president is in the presidential villa, he has the DSS, he has the, the civil defense, he has the Nigerian Navy, he has the Nigerian Army, he has the police, the Mopol, and every one of them protecting him, special forces, uh, Interpol, they are all there for him. The governors might think the same way too. Even the senators feel that because they are in, in the Alan Cruiser uh, bulletproof, that nothing is going to happen to them. <laughs> I laugh in Germany and I laugh in Chinchon. <laughs> because uh, it will not take time. Remember that this kidnap, they know they do an poor man. Now, rich man, now did they look for. So, as the commander in chief of the army, the police DPOs, inspectors, and IPs uh, are keeping quiet. The government is keeping quiet on all the issue of insecurity that is ravaging this nation. I believe that this is how God is going to keep quiet on their own case, too, because they will not continue to fly. Yes. Uh, you will not fly. You don't tell me that if you are going from your office to your house, you will still take a helicopter or you take a plane. That is not possible. So one day, is either these people caught up with them or they caught up with these people. And it's high time the government start doing something important in order to salvage the situation that the citizens of this nation have seen themselves. And when people like Kano arises, People like Eba arises to talk about secession, the division of the nation, you see people fighting. Meanwhile, everybody is suffering the same thing. But as it is for now, this is where I'll be winding down the curtain. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drops, you will be the first to call it. And thank you for listening. God bless you.